So the second single, Click, Click, Boom, this was featured all over the place. So it it was in movies like Fast and the Furious, The New Guy, Talladega Nights. It was in a bunch of video games like UFC and Project Gotham Racing. I remember it being all over the place. How important is it for bands to license their music out to different mediums like movies and video games to generate additional revenue sources, but also to, to keep getting music out to a wider and wider audience? Super important. And coming from the management side that I'm a ma- ban- you know, artist manager now, music is basically free now, you know? So in order, so bands don't make a lot of money on their actual music without licensing. You, that's super important for a band. If you want to make money outside of touring and merch, which is pretty much where bands make their money, licensing is super important. And back then it was even more so. I mean, it just, it, it expands you to a gigantic audience that you probably wouldn't necessarily have otherwise. So it takes whatever success you're having and multiplies it, you know, several fold. It's pretty epic. Also, uh, if you want to hear a cool story about how the song Click Click Boom was written, it's probably the coolest story of any song on that debut record. That whole record was written in our rehearsal room. And, and again, comes full circle because we at the beginning, we had a, a mini storage or, you know, roll up mini storage, no heat, no air. The bathroom was like way up by the office. You had to go up there. We wrote that whole record in that mini storage. And, you know, we got signed. The label came out. We played the whole thing for them. And the our A&R guy came out and, and he was like, love it. It's a great record, but I just think that there's just one song missing. We need one more like big song. And Josie Scott said, I've got this idea I came up with like yesterday. And he just tapped on his chest and he was like, click, click, boom. That's all he had. And the, and we were all instantly like, that's great. And the A&R guy, that's it get in there so we went right in the in the jam room like immediately and threw that song together in 30 minutes that's such a rock and roll story like it's yeah. it's such a typical you know some of the best songs are just kind of written on the spot just right there he just had that that riff idea in his head and he tapped the thing and he had that click click boom part and we knew that was that was money so <laughs> 